Hey, Dan Passarelli here. Right now, I want to talk about something that I talk about all the time because it's one of my favorite darn things to talk about because it's such an important thing to talk about, and that is volatility. I love volatility. You know why? Because it can give us an edge on any one of our option trades. So how do we know if options have an edge from a volatility standpoint? Well, we use it to determine if options are, relatively speaking, underpriced or overpriced. And there's kind of a lot to it for a short little video like this, but let me give you the overview. We want to start mainly looking at the volatility chart. Now, I have this set up where my blue line is the historical volatility, which is how much the stock has moved around lately. And the red line is the implied volatility, which is how cheap or expensive the options are. Now, th those are both set in units of annualized standard deviation, so they're kind of apples to apples. Now, the theory kind of goes like this. If you think the actual volatility of the stock over the next X number of days, let's just say 30 days, will be about the same as what it is now, then the implied volatility should be worth what the historical volatility is worth. But that's not necessarily always the case. We kind of have to forecast out for both of those things uh, based on events and such, which I'll talk about in just a minute. So one thing that we look at is, is today's red line, is today's implied volatility above or below today's historical volatility. Here we can see today's red line is above today's blue line point. So that's an indication, potentially, that volatility is high and options are expensive. Then we compare options prices against themselves. We take where today's implied volatility is based on where it has been over the past six months. And just kind of eyeballing this, I'd say it's kind of about in the middle. So that that's an indication that maybe implied volatility is not cheap or expensive. But then we have to look forward, and that's really important especially if you're looking at it during earnings season, because if a stock has earnings coming out soon, well, then it's natural for their implied volatility to be elevated because there's a good chance that there could be a pretty big gap in the stock price. And when that happens, then the blue line will end up shooting up, forming uh, what I like to call a volatility mesa, which was formed here. This is not an earnings day, but we had this big, huge move up and that big gap deviation in price stayed in there for the whole calculation of 21 days is what I have mine set to. And so basically, even if implied volatility is high compared to historical or compared to itself, if earnings is coming out, we don't necessarily look at that as an option selling opportunity necessarily unless we're trading uh, an earnings trading system. So I said a lot there. There's a lot to think about, but that's a pretty good overview and just keep on learning about volatility, attend our free trainings that we have and um, even some of our classes that are not free, but drill down a little bit deeper and you can put this really useful tool to work as well. Hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli, Trade Smart.